In this lesson, we want to have an introduction to JSX. Let's get to code. And in the app.js inside src app.js from previous lesson, we are going to define a JSX variable. I'm quite sure that you are familiar with JavaScript. So for defining a constant, we use this style const. The name of this variable is element. But the data type here is not number, string, or any primary data type. It's JSX. It's a mix of JavaScript and HTML. Let's define it. As you see, it's like an HTML code. And inside that, I define hello world. This variable is a JSX. JSX produce React element. So we can use this element instead of this return part. So what I'm going to return here is the element, and the element is a JSX variable. Let's save the file and check the result. As you see, we are getting the same result by defining a JSX variable and using that variable as a return for this function. JSX has many features and capabilities that we can use that in our React application. Let us start by first feature, which is embedding expression in JSX. In this example, we are going to declare a variable called name. Let's define a variable named John Smith. Const name equal to John Smith. We can use this variable in a JSX. So what I'm going to do here is to get rid of world and use the name variable here to use a variable inside a JSX expression. We need to use curly braces. And inside that, we can enter the variable there. So let's save it and check the result. Huh. As you see, it says hello and it concatenates the hello with the value inside name variable, which is John Smith. Also, we can embed the result of calling a JavaScript function in a JSX variable. In this example, what I'm going to do here is to define a function. Let's create a function. Let's say format name. It accepts user name. And inside that, it return user name capitalized to uppercase function to convert the username to full uppercase. In the JSX here, I can use format name function. So I enter format name. And as a parameter, I pass the name variable to format name function. Let's save the file and see how it works. As you see, it converted the John Smith to uppercase. So inside a JSX, you can use a variable or a function. And that's the beauty of JSX. JSX itself is an expression too. I mean, after compilation, JSX expression becomes regular JavaScript function calls and evaluate to JavaScript objects. And this means that you can use JSX inside if statement or for loop, assign it to variables, accept it as a arguments, and return it from functions. Let's define a function here. I'm going to define a function and set the function name to get greetings. This function accept username as a parameter. And if username exists, then I'm going to return a JSX in this function, h1, hello. And I'm going to use format name function and pass username as a parameter to function. And don't forget to close the opening curly braces. Otherwise, if username is 
empty or null, what I'm gonna return here is another JSX H1. You can use H2, paragraph, dev, whatever you like. I, it's just for test. Hello, and it's a stranger. Save it. So we can use get greeting as a return value right here. Get greeting. Let's enter a name as a parameter, Jane Doe, and save it. Let's check the result. As you see, the result is Jane Doe capital case. So what it does is to return the result of get greeting function. Inside get greeting function, we check the username. If it does exist, we return hello and use the variable here and pass it to the format name and inside format name we convert Jane Doe to the uppercase. That's why we are getting this result. If we pass empty string and save it, we get this result. Hello stranger. Even if we get rid of empty string and just return get greeting, we get the same result because in this case, Username is undefined and it evaluate to false and this line will run. We can specify attributes with JSX. You may use codes to specify a string literal as an attribute. Let's test it. What I'm going to do here is to define a new JSX variable named image. In the image JSX, and it's gonna be an image tag. For image tag, we need to define two attributes. The first attribute is src, and it's gonna be a string literal. So I use double quote here, and the address is slash logo 192.png. It's the same name that we have in the public here and set alternative text to logo 2. I'm going to render image, get rid of get greeting here, and enter image as a return value for this function. Let's save it and check the result. Aha, uh -huh. here we have an image in the screen. So what we did is to specify attributes for an image tag and use the image variable as a return value for this function. Also, we can use curry braces to embed a JavaScript expression in an attribute. So let's define user image as a variable and set the path to slash logo 192. PNG and inside the src instead of having a literal string I'm gonna use an expression as and as I said before for defining an expression we need to use curly braces and inside that we can enter the expression name the variable name let's save it and check the result as you see, we are getting the same result. So in this JSX variable, we are using two attributes. The first one is src, and here we are using a expression. And the second one is alternative text, and we are using a string literal. For expression, it should be wrapped inside curly brackets, and for a string it should be wrapped inside quotes or double quotes. Don't forget, since JSX is closer to JavaScript to HTML, React DOM uses camel case property naming convention instead of HTML attribute name. I mean, for the image, if you want to set a class to it, you should not use class. Instead of it, it should be class name with capital N, sample class. The next topic in this lesson is specifying children with JSX. 
if a tag is empty, you may close it immediately with slash angle bracket, like this one. For this image, we can use this way too, because it's a self-closing tag, the image tag. But also we can define JSX that has children. Let's define it for the element here. What I'm gonna do is to get rid of this content, define a div, inside div, define h1, inside that, enter hello, and use name as a variable, and inside that, define a paragraph, good to see you. And as you see, the syntax is very similar HTML. We have parent element and child element, and we can render the element like this. Let's save it, and here is the result. Also here, we can simply render the image that we have defined in this line here. Let's check it. Uh -huh. The header one, paragraph, and the image. Great. What we did in this lesson is to get familiar with JSX and we created some JSX variables like image, div, paragraph, and we combined them together using regular JavaScript functions and variables. That's it about this lesson. And for next lesson, we are going to get familiar with rendering elements. Until next lesson, bye-bye.